not be happening in this school. I have spent 20 years at Columbine. I can count on two hands the number of fights we had at Columbine. So when someone is telling me there's a report of gunfire, I was in disbelief. Until I ran out of my office, and I ran out of my office, and from here to the back of this auditorium, my worst nightmare became a reality because I saw a gunman coming towards me. And I went through something that later I learned was fight, flight, and freeze. And everything slowed down. And all of a sudden, my sensory emotions started kicking in. There was a fire alarm going off. It was so loud that we could not carry on a conversation, but I was able to block that out. But I do remember the strobe lights, and everything slowed down. And as I saw the gunman approaching me, I remember baseball cap turned backwards, a white baseball cap, he had on a black vest, white t-shirt. And I remember looking down the barrel of the gun, and it looked like about the size of the cannon, about the size of the cannon. And all I kept thinking about is what it was going to feel like to have a bullet pierce my body. I had never in my entire life been in a situation like that.